Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. You, uh, you may think that this is the end of the show. It really isn't. This is really the beginning. But you see, today is our fourth, fourth anniversary on the air, and it happens to be uh, my birthday, too. So I thought I might better get out here at the beginning where I have a little more time before they cut me off at the end. You know, I only have about five or ten seconds. Kukla and I usually hate birthday speeches and anniversary talks because they sometimes get a little, little too sentimental. Isn't that right, Kukla? But today I, I just would like to say a few words about, about some of the wonderful things that have happened to us here on Kukla, Fran, and Ali in the four years we've been on the air. I think uh, Kukla and I both agree that the, the most exciting thing has happened, that's happened is uh, the making of friends. When we started four years ago, we really hardly realized that uh, television would grow to such great proportions in four years. I don't suppose anyone really did. And uh, now, through Kukla and through Ali, through the, all the Kuklapolitan players, we feel that we've made so many wonderful friends, and we wish we could somehow meet you all and talk to you all in person. But of course, that's impossible. Back in 1947, when we started, uh, there were kind of a handful of people watching television. In those days, we could meet a few, and we could sit down personally and write letters to each and every one of you. Now, it's a, it's a little more than that. There's more than a handful, we hope, anyway. And so it's difficult for us to express our appreciation and your friendship. We've not only made friends in our audience, we hope, but friends uh, in our crew, in the studio crew that works with us, in our control room, and the wonderful friends that you don't see who are behind the Kuklapolitans, who work in our office and help us with our mail and help us with our budgets and help with the costume department. Also, wonderful friends in the network and through the many stations throughout the country. We remember very dearly and with much love our friends at WBKB here in Chicago where we first started four long years ago. It seems pretty long now. And we remember with kindness all the wonderful friends among our sponsors. And I think that Kukla and I can say very honestly that we hope we will continue to keep you friends as friends and gain many more as the years go by and that the real, the real fun, the real wonderful part of our show is the half hour each night that we spend with you. And what, Kukla? Oh, I've talked too long. You ready? Excuse me, I'll have to leave. I'll see you later now. Come on, everybody, get going. Got to get... Where in the world? Fred? Yes? Fred, who put the bouquet in front of the... Who put the bouquet in front of the stage? I don't know who put it there, but isn't it lovely? Well, it's lovely, except how... Oh, look how pretty you look. Oh, thank you. You look... Let me look at you. Yes? Yeah. Got your dressed up gown on. Yes, and Gami gave me the loveliest birthday present. He did what? Long dangly earrings, just today. He let you wear them? The first time. Oh, isn't that isn't wonderful? wonderful? Well, I was very gracious, too. I let BT speak. Well, how very nice of you. I thought it was nice for a change. Well, certainly it was. He stumbles more than I do, but then he doesn't have as much practice. I've never known him to stumble. Well, he doesn't exactly stumble. But he doesn't rehearse like I do. Oh? No, he had libs. <laughs> <laughs> well, lucky for him. Yeah. Isn't it wonderful? Well, it has been fun. I suppose what he said was really kind of true in a way. I think the most fun in the four years is the friends that we've made. Oh, and how nice to hear from them all. And that's that's the point I, I'm a little worried about. I don't know how we've got telegrams here. I don't know how we're going to answer them all, friends. No, I don't guess we can. Well, maybe we'll try. Well, we can just make maybe one general swoop at answering them. Hmm? And you know something else that he forgot to mention? Wonderful friends that we've met through the newspapers and the magazines. Oh, I should say They're the press. Wonderful. Long may they live. And long may they live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, friend, this is so exciting. I can hide away. Well... Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have a cake, aren't we, with candles? Oh, right? certainly we'll have a cake I'm with so candles. I'm so excited. I don't. I just don't know exactly what to do. Why don't I let the crew look at these pretty flowers and put them on their side? Could I? Would you like to? Well, I, I think, think it, it is kind of nice. in the way. I can hardly I'll see Jack. Hi, Jack. Hello, Brian. Hello. Happy birthday. Hello. 
Hello. Steven. Hello, Jack. Hi, <laughs> Look at me. Uh, I'm very pleased. Don't I look lovely? You yeah. think there's going to be a wedding or something? <laughs> Wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Play the cards, Jack. Oh, no. No, I'll never forget that. Uh, Fran, are these, these are from RCA Victor, aren't they? Let me see. Aren't they lovely? Yes. Isn't that nice? RCA Victor, our first, our first sponsor. RCA Still with us, too, after all these years. That's a wonderful thing. Well, we're very pleased and very thrilled. Well, if you want to, maybe you should move them over. I'm I think maybe I will. Yeah. I'll be back in a second. Can you do it for yourself? Sure. Looks just like a float in the Rose Bowl tournament. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, Pete's got it. Good for Pete. Oh, I'm so excited. I just don't know exactly water up here. I hope that... That isn't water. That's scotch tape. A gleam just like water. Who left the scotch tape on the stage? Telegrams up and everything. We ever run out of ideas for a show? This will take 30 minutes. <laughs> Let me look at you again. Yeah. Stand there. You know, I, um, I don't think you've changed a bit. Really, don't you? Well, of course, four years isn't a very long time, but four years, five days a week is a pretty long time. Well, sometimes it gets to be a little long. That would be equal to about 20 years if you were doing a show once a week, wouldn't it? Yes. Doesn't really seem like four years, does it? Doesn't seem like 20, either. No. I can't forget Lucky that. Lucky for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look lovely. You You'll do. never change, Oh, friend. thank you. No, you won't. Your hair changes a little bit. One, I remember when I first met you, it was a little longer. Yes. And then, then you had a pompadour for a little while. And then you combed out the pompadour and, and you conquered. How could you have let me have that that long? I don't know. It just, well, everybody was wearing it that long. Now. I guess so. You know, it looks pretty. I well. should like to think I had company in that miserable style. <laughs> I don't think it was so bad. It looked oh, pretty bad. Oh, dear. It was awful. Can you remember Remember when the, when the Bill Eddy called us up on the telephone and he said, um, the Coco, would you like to do a show? Well, you know me, the drop of a hat. Sure. But uh, B.T. cautioned me. He said, don't take it unless there's money. Because in those days, if you'll remember, everything... Well, in those days, money was money. Money was money, <laughs> yes. And, and, and besides that, everything on television at that, in those days was just kind of free. Mm -hmm. It was fun, though. Yes, it was. it was. Lots of fun. And so he said, yes, it's for money. And I didn't even ask how much. Could have been just a quarter. But I got what? 35 cents. No. Oh. <laughs> and so uh, then we came down, went down, and we met, remember? Yes. Well, we had met before, well, but we I had. didn't know each other. Well, we were so very formal. Yes. And I, they said, would you, who would you like to have with you on the show? And I said, well, I'd like to have Ollie, of course, and Madame Oglepuss. And that was before Beulah and Fletcher had joined. Mm -hmm. Cracky. said, Cecil Bill, we have to have for the stage. Hands. And Mercedes, of course, was around. Yes. And that was before Dolores came, too. Yeah. But then I, they said, uh, they said, yes, but um, could you, uh, we were doing a record show, I think, then, doing mm -hmm. a record. And they said, could you do, could you spin the records and uh, MC? And I said, well, I could. But I would much prefer having a beautiful girl out in the front to speak to. Is that what you really said? That's what I said. Oh, it's so wonderful. <laughs> and about 50 fellows said Fran Allison. Great. Isn't that wonderful? Well, there may have been only 48, but <laughs> it was close <laughs> to 50. And then we went down and remember, and I said, how do you do, Miss Allison? Yeah, I know. He said, said, how, how do you do, do Mr. Cooper? I said, how nice to see you oh, again. Yes. It's been quite a while. Yes, and we bowed, and all of a sudden we got the 30-second cue, and then we're on the air, and we've been out ever since. Yes. And then I said, the first day, I started calling you Fran. I know. And then you called me Kukla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I think that's wonderful. Oh, it's been a great, happy, wonderful association. Bill Eddie and 
Mr. Balaban. Oh, and yes. Harry Birch and all the boys. Harry Harry's Birch. here today. Yes. yes. He always comes and it's so wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful. He can hardly keep his hands off the camera. <laughs> so his cameraman when we first started out. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I guess, I guess, remember that little song I sang about three or four weeks ago? I said that that's the way I felt when I first met you. Oh, the one from, uh, from was it from 17? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I feel the same way. Now, wait a minute, though. I've got something. It's from Ollie and me, but he's taking a bath, so All he right. won't mind if I okay. jump the gun. Oh, isn't this exciting? So wonderful. I never thought I'd like anniversaries before, but I've become, for me, oh, how lovely. You like them? Oh, they're beautiful. They're real, but they don't smell. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> they're pretty. So lovely. You don't have any? Thank you very much. I, them on, I, I have an unreal one on which I can take off. I, I was one. thinking if you want some scotch tape, we could... Well, I guess they are fastening things on with scotch tape. Now, maybe we could try it. There's that little piece I just... Got well, I got excited and I wadded it all up and it doesn't amount to very much. You, Thank you. You wait a minute. I want to sing to you now. Right. Nobody ever felt like this before. Before. For nobody ever was so much in love. This is a sacred feeling, like standing at heaven's door. Nobody ever felt like this before. No one could understand the way I feel. I feel. You just can't explain a pain. Sweet as this, mild as a breath of April, and wild as the ocean's roar. Oh, nobody ever felt like this before. Lovely song. <laughs> it's a very nice. Song. All right, bring it up. <laughs> well, hello, cutie. Hello. <laughs> well, hello, cutie. Hello, you lovely cutie. You look so very sweet today. In fact, you take my breath away. <laughs> well, happy birthday from Margaret Truman. Happy birthday to really? Bob Hope. Yes, isn't that interesting? Great. Yeah. Isn't that marvelous? There's a whole Glory time. Fox. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? Joe Seaton. Oh, <clears throat> oh, hello, cutie. You devastating beauty. Now, strictly, I'm the cutie. You're my extra special cutie. Because you bring up the dragon in me. But, Hello, oh, you lovely cutie. How is the sweet, the sweetheart you will ever know on video? Oh. Hmm. Miles Trammell, Phil McConnell, Tid Mac, Tid Mac, Tid Caesar. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Fred Allen. Fred Allen. Really? Yeah. Robert Montgomery! Yeah! <gasps> Isn't that wonderful? Gee, I didn't know these were all up here. I guess Kate that's what we're doing. Ted Oh, Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. That's great. Well, hello, cutie. You devastating beauty. The confidential way you move. Positively, absolutely. You are the cutie for me. You are the cutie for me. A rooty tooty. You are the cutie for me. No substitute. You are the cutie for me. <laughs> Not your gasket, Yes. Please. Oh, heavens. We don't have any extra ones. It doesn't 
matter. I don't care. I don't care. I've lived through four years. If I blow my gasket on the fourth birthday, then I've had a hit enough. Oh, you look so lovely. Oh, thank you very much. You look lovely, too. Thank you. What were you thinking about? Oh, I was just thinking about the years that have gone by. We were just Oh, let's saying. not be sloppy about it. <laughs> I'm not. Well, I know, but we can all be too emotional on a day like this. Let's be gay, shall we, Jack? I never oh, will God. forget the first day you sang that song to me. You won't? I just nearly collapsed. It was quite a day. That must have been... Oh. Over three, that's about three and a half years ago. It was, it was. We, because I hadn't really heard you sing. Ooh, hum a little and maybe sing when we were just sitting around or when we were walking. You hadn't heard my full-throated baritone. No, I hadn't. No. And yeah. it was just wonderful. Then you sang a song, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, I know. I think I A lovely know. song, something about... Uh, yeah. Well, it was a sweet, it was the same show. I, I know. Yeah, but of course, let's not get sentimental. You know the song? Yes, I know the song. Sing it to us, would you? <coughs> Girls were made to take care of boys. Made to share their Made to share the joys, made to help and guide them with ever a patient hand, made to shed affection in the right direction. Now boys may think they take care of girls just because they pass on their fashions and their Happy birthday. Oh, well, wonderful. Speaking.
eating of Sid Caesar. A cake? A cake? Did he bake it with his own sweet little hand? Why, certainly he must have. Oh, dear of him, isn't it? Oh, it's great. That's just wonderful. Well, how very nice. I Where does the music it? start? I'm like, damn. Oh, Beulah, have you ever... Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! To what it is! Happy, happy Let birthday! Let me see you. Happy. You know, I can't hear a thing because I had to take my hat off and put on this hair. Doesn't it work both ways? No, it's no, this one isn't wired. Well, everything ready? Look, you yes. wear earrings, too. Dingle daggles, Isn't sparkle, sparkle. Wonderful? Oh, they blow out the cameras. Whoa! <laughs> oh, everybody's so happy today. Well, I'm glad they're not sad anyway. More cakes, Brian? Well, yes. My gracious. I, oh, Crystal Bill, could you answer that? Oh, oh, that was the back door, though. Oh, thank you. Charles, yes, it says, Happy Birthday, Burr. Oh. Burr. Burr. And Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Isn't that nice? Oh. Happy Birthday, dear. Thank you. Yeah! Wow, Oh, we mustn't let her have too much. Not too much, but she no. can have a little bit. Of More wires, dear? Yeah, they came in. Oh, no. isn't that great? Oh, goodness. Uh, shall I get it? Yeah, would you get it, Fran, please? Oh, I got to get these all up because we want them all to be seen. Plenty of decorations. Oh, look at those. We can't possibly eat Look them at all. this. Oh, isn't the who sent that? Who do you think? I don't know who. You know, in all those program books where they have ads and they always say, a friend? Yeah. Set us one. Too. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that Oh, wonderful? when are we going to cut it? When are we going to cut oh, it? Oh, pretty soon. Oh, I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait. I want to get my paper hat on, so excuse me. And then wait just a minute. What, another one? Yeah. Another cake? I just can't carry this one in. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, Francis. Congratulations, Thank my you. boy. Good boy. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Thank you, Colonel, and the same to you. Joyce Thomas and Donna Rosenwald. Wonderful. That lovely... Oh, thing. we're having a cake sale. How delightful. Cake sale. Ollie, how can you? Well, we can't possibly eat all those, Fran. Well, there are a lot of us. I'll tell you what, why don't you wheel them out, pass them around, there'll be enough for everybody. For Harry, Birch, and, and, and Johnny Natalie in the control room, Natalie. and John Flood, John and, the, Flood. and the crew in here, right. the camera crew, and the... I have a couple out there. Yeah, and, and Pete on the stage mm -hmm. hands, pass it around, the girls on the switchboard, do that, oh, will you, Oh, sure I will. Yeah, I think that'll be great. <laughs> oh. Don't be too generous. Oh, I'm not, don't be silly, I'm not generous, I mean, it's... Just uh, share and share alike. Our crew is such a wonderful bunch. All the kids are so marvelous to us. We can't eat all those cakes, Kukla, and they'd go stale by tomorrow. Oh, I, I suppose they would. I guess it's a good idea. It is. I, I'm glad we did it. I'm glad. I just don't want want them all to go. Don't worry. <laughs> well, Frank, you passed them around all right? Yes. Good, good. They were so pleased. Good. Well, let's sing that little happy birthday song that right. uh, Jack wrote. I think that's so cute. <laughs> Get out the candles, bring in the cake. We'll have a party and celebrate. Get out your napkin, bring in your plate. Today's a very important day. Plenty to eat with plenty to spare. You won't find any more anywhere. Strawberry ice cream, it's really great. Today's a very important day. You may say, just what do you think this is? Your birthday? Right away, we have to confess. Birthday! Birthday? How did you get? Light up the candles, cut up the cake. We're so excited that we can't wait. Blow out the candles, don't miss the one. And wish everybody a lot of fun. A merry, merry birthday to us. A happy, happy birthday to us. As we celebrate this very important date. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's cut the cake. All right, let's... I gave it... I gave them away. Everyone? Shall I see? See, there's one there. Is it... Anything? It is. Really? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I was worried for a minute. Yes, you know, we can overdo the generosity business. 
all that's left, but it's the very first slice that was cut. Oh, how perfectly wonderful. So we'll share it. It's the lucky slice. Certainly. Yeah. Oh, oh, that'll be perfect. That ought to make a dandy wish. I suppose we ought to blow that candle out, but it isn't lighted, so we can't blow it. Well, I can always light it. Do you think you could? I think sure. we have time, Fran. <laughs> we should do that. At least have a wish or something. Good. Be careful, I'm high. Remember how I never used to close the match cover? I know, we'll do it now. In the old days, but now. Okay. Here we go now. Got your wish? Mm-hmm. I have. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> we all get a wish. The musical director of Kukul, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fashionato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Gomovitz. The costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And the technical director is John Napoli. And this is Bert Tolstrom again. Thank you. Happy birthday, dear. Mm. Mm-hmm. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie has been brought to you from Chicago.